Do you want to learn how to create simple vignettes in After Effects? In this video, I'll show you my two favorite ways to create vignettes. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition and I'm going to name that composition vignette. You can name it whatever you like. After that, I'm going to go to layer new and we're going to create a new solid. So I'm just going to name this solid background. You can name it whatever you like. So now we're going to go to the effects and presets and we are going to search for a gradient ramp. Now I'm just going to adjust the colors. So I would like a lighter gray. And the next thing I'm going to do after I select the colors that I like is I'm going to swap colors and I'm going to go to radio instead of linear. And I'm gonna adjust the positioning. So this is an easy way to create a vignette and if you like you can actually stop here. I want more texture so I'm going to go to the effects and presets and select turbulent noise. I'm going to keep it at basic and I'm going to select overlay. And I'm going to adjust the opacity to where it's a little subtle in the background and it just gives a little texture to the vignette. So that's my first way of creating a vignette. Now we're going to create a vignette another way. Now this is a good way if you have artwork or footage that you would like to overlay a vignette on top of. Um, so what I'm going to do is drag my artwork underneath my background layer. I'm just going to adjust the positioning and the scale of the artwork. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to select my background layer and I'm going to drag the ellipse tool. Now keep in mind you want to make sure that you select the layer to drag the ellipse tool because if you don't you'll see this happening you'll see it creates a new shape layer. So I'm just going to delete that shape layer and I'm going to make sure I have the background layer selected and I'm going to drag my ellipse tool. I like this because you can really adjust the shape um, of the ellipse. So the next thing we're going to do is invert the mask that we've created and I'm going to press F for feather and I'm going to feather it out. So that really gives a soft vignette look. I like this because you can really adjust the shape of your vignette and you can get really creative with vignettes this way. And that's with the vignette and that's without the vignette. So it's really easy. I love these two ways of creating vignettes. They're kind of my go-to when I want to, you know, create new vignettes. So that's it, very simple, very quick. Don't forget to comment, rate, and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.